so here it is hi guys thank you so much for uh, coming into this clicking this uh, video and this uh, moment moment is about me telling you the truth and if anyone up there really really want to get this one gadget you know boys will be boys we love handphones we love watches we love these things and uh, remote control cars but now the era has changed and generations has been moving to different generations as you know generations that has started now is people don't don't use remote control cars anymore I mean they're still there people still play it and people really buy this kind of very expensive toys but now generation has changed now it's called the 2017 which is the Gen Z generations and Gen Z generation you know you know what I'm talking about the Gen X love to play with this thing called remote control and we used to play with Tamiya and everything else. I don't know if you play with Tamiya, but I used to play with Tamiya a lot. And Tamiya gave me uh, a, 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 a satisfaction level where I can merakit, you know, uh, mobilnya itu, terus dinamonya di, di kilik. Dan di, I, I'm sure you guys will also have done it before. But Generation Z, different. We don't play with Tamiya anymore. We don't play with remote control anymore. Generation Z plays with this one thing, man, let me tell you. And we call it the drone. And this drone has been in the market for quite a long time. The iPhantom is one of the most um, well-known drone right now in the Generation era, which is the Generation Z era. And this DJI Phantom, let me tell you, the company is so well-known around the world with this thing called the drone. And I think it's called the UAV, is it? It's un attendant vehicle uav i think uav unattended vehicle or something like that uh you can just check it up in google but the drone i don't get paid to do this so no sponsors i'm not really uh on dji side also but i'm not also yeah, really uh helping them to you know get more names but anyway my moment to you is just merely very simple and if any one of you wants to buy a drone out there and any uang sedikit untuk beli yang namanya drone-nya ini dan lo pikir lo pengen beli yang namanya mainan drone-nya ini karena kenapa? you've seen any of them fly them somewhere atau atau you spend most of the times in YouTube and then you check the YouTube uh, footage that the vloggers nowadays they love to vlog and at the same time they like to put footage with drones in it like it, it's it's a connecting footage I mean it's, it's not a, like a full footage but it's a connecting one and if you see any of the vlog like Casey is doing it uh, he's putting drones also now in his footage like everyday vloggers those things uh, those people they really like um, putting up drones in a clip so it's like a connecting clip to another situation the drone itself that makes the vlogging experience more fantastic today I'm not going to talk about the spec of the drone. I'm not going to talk about what it does, what it can do, and what's the bad side or what's the good side of it, what's the advantage, the disadvantage of it. I'm not going to tell you any of that. But I, there's always one question that I need to help everyone out before you really buy the drone. Now, here's my question. If you have spare money to buy drone, the number one question is very simple. Should I get a drone or not? And that's the number one question that you always ask. If I have spare money or my birthday is coming up, atau ulang tahun gue, gue mau minta apa, and gue mikir gue mau minta drone. And there's no better drone out there like any other brand, the iPhantom. Now, I have here with me my very own Mavic Pro DJ drone. Now, I bought this Mavic Pro. I think I bought it about... Um, I think it's been with me for about three months or four months. I think five months also. No, it hasn't passed that six bulan, tapi masih ada lima bulan atau empat bulan lah sama gue. And do I fly it? Yes, I do fly it quite a lot whenever I travel because I do travel everywhere. Kalau gue kemana-mana, gue pasti bawa drone nya gue. I will never leave my drone at home, or I will never say to myself kayak antar lihat ah kalau misalnya gue butuh gue akan bawa drone no the drone follows wherever I go so in times I have a chance to fly it I will fly it but let me get this right should I buy a drone or should I spend my money on something else that that's the number one question now um, my whole moment is I'm gonna tell you the reason why you should buy a drone and the reason why you shouldn't buy a drone and in between I'll give you a conclusion whether you should buy it or not whether you should spend the money because these things are not cheap ain't cheap it's not a cheap toy it's not a cheap hobby also this is very very expensive 
and I, I I I would say very twice because for me untuk gue bagi gue lah kalau gue bilang expensive mungkin yang nonton sekarang lagi mikir wah oh, nggak terlalu mahal juga cuma sekian sekian juta no untuk gue mahal bet oke okay? untuk gue adalah harganya itu mahal banget so um, let's carry on with should I buy or should I not buy I will give you this advantage and here it is yang pertama this drone Now, let's start with advantages first. Okay? Now, if you're a vlogger, if you love agak sedikit miring. Sorry. <laughs> if you're a vlogger or if you like you know, if you have a YouTube channel and you, your everyday is like your your channel is all about traveling and everything else. And um, your channel is about when you travel somewhere, you like to vlog and when you travel somewhere, you like to do new things and you like to see beautiful places like the beaches, the cove, the reef. And then you like to go in the, uh, you know, dive or in the ocean, or you like to go to Bali is one of the places. I think one of the best places to have one of these around. So if you're that type and you have a channel and you're you're a photographer, or you make some kind of clip in your work, and you need to give that clip to your client and to give good image and good um, mountains and sceneries, go buy a drone. No doubt. Just buy the drone, because if you're in that job and if you're the job scope, kalau lo kerjanya memang kayak gitu, you need this. Why? Because it levels up your game of your vlog that no one can ever give you. This is what I mean. These kind of drones will fly anywhere you tell it to fly. Okay, it will fly anywhere you tell it to fly. Now, there are some places where you are a photographer you cannot take. There are some dangerous places where, as a photographer, you can actually you cannot actually lo nggak bisa deketin. Yang tempat yang bahayanya itu. Just buy the drone if you're not a workplace. Just go buy it. It gives you another level of satisfaction in your vlog. Now, that's number one. Now, if you are also a hobby of fly, flying, unattended flying aircraft, buy the drone. And when I tell you to buy the drone, this is the most intelligent aircraft of flying unattended flight flying object or flying aircraft you can ever think of. This is so smart. Now, if you have a hobby of that, just go buy it. And you have a spare money, just buy it. You think it's very cool and you like to, you know, have an adrenaline rush. And you're that type of collector, you know, you like to to have things that's new in your life. Now, you cannot be better than this. This is something that is new, something that's very updated, and it's the smartest drone out there. Now, I'm not I'm not pointing to Mavic Pro only, but also right now DJ Phantom 4 is coming up, Pro also, and I heard the 5 is also coming up, the Phantom 5 soon. So I'm telling you, uh, I'm having the Pro and I've been liking it. It has, it has been, it has been so smart, very very smart. He has sensors all over. The sensors of this drone has two at the front and he has two at the bottom. So what it means with, if the drone flies to you, it will stop, and when it stops, it knows that. Obstacles is right in front of them. It's called optical sensor. Now, when it's about to land, also it doesn't land straight away and go boom on the ground because it knows it has optical sensor at the bottom of the drone also to make it very. It's a very smart drone. The third one, if you are a movie maker or movie producer, buy the drone because this drone will. This drone is just right for those are starting with movies, you know, you're, you're a producer of small movies or anything. just buy the drone because there is some angle that a, that a camera cannot get but the drone will get for you. And the drone is just one of those things that can give you a different perspective or different angle. And uh, the drone will do anything that a camera does but more. Make sure if you're any of them, buy the drone. Now, here's my honest review and my honest why you should not buy the drone. Why? Because I've been having this for six months. I will let you know honestly what are the things that you need to look out for. Number one, this cost 15.6. That is the standard drone. In, uh, the price is in Indonesia, and 15.6 will only get you one battery. And that 15.6, if you have spare on a 15.6, none of us does have spare 15.6. Normally, when we buy, when we, when we want to buy this, and it's so scary for us. Why? Because we're afraid it might fall down and we might lose contact, lose signal, everything else. 
and for the first time for me when I fly this I was very very scared why number one I was very scared it will lose signal I was very scared it will just be lost somewhere and I cannot find it it will land somewhere else it will land in the ocean that's one of the things that I have so number one why you should not buy a drone is if you cannot afford it do not buy a drone just borrow one or at least do your best to borrow one and fly one and that's it number two why the drone now this drone has after domino effect to it what i mean domino effect is you buy the basic of it but you don't you you don't use only one battery the battery will last you 30 minutes that's your first flight time the second flight time the battery power will decrease sampai 27 sampai 25 minutes and akhirnya 20 minute akhirnya 15 minutes so that means when you fly the drone 15 minutes your footage or whatever you want to take well, it's very limited. Jadi lo bakalan beli baterainya lagi. You cannot only use one battery because this battery lasts you 29 or 30 minutes they say. Yes. My first flight time it flew for 30 minutes. My second flight time it flew for 29 and goes on with the 6 and the 7 flight time it went down to 25 and now I think my flight time only 15. Now the reason why it's 15 because battery we all know battery has energy and the energy will decrease most time you use it. Now the reason I'm telling you is because the basic cost 15.6. Now there is a fly longer package yang harganya 19 juta atau 18 juta. Tapi if you're not careful enough, people will sell you it for 20 juta. Isinya adalah dua baterai including this one kalian ada tiga and ada tasnya dan lain sebagainya. Now 18 juta untuk gue mahal banget. So number 2. <laughs> Your battery it has a domino effect. Artinya adalah lo beli satu drone pasti lo harus beli yang lainnya. Dan pas lo beli yang lainnya, nggak hanya baterainya aja Your casing juga lo harus beli Kalau misalnya drone-nya ini mau taruh di tas Udah pasti lo harus beli casing yang hitam Yang hard case Casingnya ini dua, satu set Harganya 600 ribu atau 450 Depending where you buy it from Itu lo beli Kedua, the propeller Udah pasti lo beli spare-nya Walaupun I get the spare from the basic Tapi gue pasti ada belinya juga Itu yang kedua, udah pasti And then after propeller-nya copot Dari sini Ini hubcap-nya juga kadang-kadang lo harus beli. If you put it in your bag, hubcap-nya untuk yang untuk protect motornya, lo juga harus beli. So that four caps harganya 120 ribu. Not expensive, but I'm not finished. You need a bag for this. Unless you have a long-lasting package yang gue bilang barusan yang harga 19 juta, lo harus punya tas untuk ini. And kalau lo punya tas, kayak tasnya gue, this one, yes. And this bag fits in all my camera gear and my drone and everything else. This bag will cost me, or have cost me, quite a lot. So there's a domino effect after that. Last one. If you want to buy a drone, you're not going to fly it more. You're not going to fly it a lot of times. Why? The drone now has flying zone issues in around the world. Let me tell you the reason why I tell you this, the third reason, not to buy a drone. If you buy the drone, there is a flying issue right now. There is a no-fly zone and a yes-fly zone. Each country has different laws. Now, this drone has been quite a troublesome in different countries. Japan made it very legal one time. But one day, some idiot decided to fly the drone into government building throwing this thing called yang namanya a substance yang bahaya sekali and they decided to make a law in Japan the drone now if you see my other clips in this moment gue pernah ditangkap di Jepang ditangkapnya itu bukan karena dikasih warning aja gue di detain selama 8 jam di Central Kyoto Station go over stop this clip pause it go over to my Japan moment gue kasih tau sama lo what happened I flew it in the Kamo River di Kyoto and I was arrested 8 hours arrested that is three, they released me until 10 o'clock or I think 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock and they arrested me. So the laws are in Japan, it's a big no-no to fly. Now if you ask me, so if I go to Japan, can I bring my drone? Yes, you can bring your drone, but when you want to fly it, you got to fly it as far as you can. You need to go to Kawaguchiko, you need to go to Shirakawago, these kind of areas, the drone can fly, but you need to have an application. The application you can check online in Google, application ini will tell you if the drone can be flown wherever you are. And the, there is a map of Japan, yang the red one, no fly zone, the green one, 
is a be careful zone. The yellow one is ready to fly zone. And out of the whole country, 100% di Jepang, yang yellow one okay fly zone is only 15%. So I'm telling you right now, you want to buy a drone, the third reason, don't buy the drone. In Indonesia, yes, they don't have a laws for it yet. Yet, they cannot fly over buildings, they cannot fly over people, and they cannot fly over vents. So when they fly over events, they will mereka punya rights to detain you. And that's in Indonesia. Coming up soon, katanya. The laws is coming up. So in the Philippines, you also need permission to, to fly a drone. Why the permission? Before you fly to the Philippines, you need to register, you need to apply, the letter comes back, give you permission to fly the drone anywhere. But still, not over any building, any vehicle, any event, or any person. So human being, you cannot fly this drone over a human being. That's in the Philippines. In Australia, the laws is there also. In Australia, out of 100% of the country, I think you can fly the drone 25%. And Right now, if you want to fly a drone to Jogja, you go to Bali, you go to anywhere, just fly it. Most likely, someone will come up to you and ask for money. I mean, that's how it is. And you give him money, you give him 50,000, more likely you can fly your zone anytime, anywhere you like in that area. And that's it. You ask me anywhere else, Korea, yes, there's a fly zone and a no fly zone. And mostly in Korea, you need to go very, very far away in the mountains to fly this thing, yang namanya, the drone. And that's my reason why for you, not to buy the drone. Here's something in conclusion out of all this. Buy a drone or don't buy a drone. If you ask my opinion, just borrow one. If a friend has, borrow one. Kalau teman lo punya, lo minjem lah sama dia. Untuk satu shot aja, satu shot, this drone, you won't be able to fly di atas tuh sejam nggak bisa. Most likely 15 minutes. And 15 minutes of footage, itu paling nggak dari A sampai Z, bawah ke atas, B. That's it. That's the only footage that you have. And remember, Drone is not a one-hour footage. A drone footage is a connecting footage. Artinya adalah dari scene A ke scene B, pertengahannya itu mau ditaruh apa? Taruh drone footage. So, is it worth it or not to buy the drone? After six months, I bought it. I gotta tell you something. It's just easier for me enough to borrow someone else's. If my friend had one, I would have borrowed their drone. Pay 200-300 a week, a day, five days, at least you get to fly the drone, you get the footage, and everything's good. So, my opinion, must think twice before you buy the drone. What is it that you really need? What is it that you really want? And what is it that you really desire of buying this drone? Because one day, you realize yourself that the drone flew only little time, and you get little footage, and the footage is only a 15 seconds or a 10 second footage in any vlog that you have. In that everybody, thank you so much for watching this moment. I really do appreciate it. I put this moment not because I support DJI Phantom or Mavic Pro. No, I just want to let you know to all my friends out there, before you buy the drone, you have to really think or watch my moment. In that, keep it real, keep it clean and vlog positive.